In May 2012, a new environmental observatory will open in Messinia in Greece, and Stockholm University will be a part of it. Uh, Professor Kleman, uh, why did you decide to participate in, in this new observatory? Uh, we saw that uh, the region offers many research opportunities, both in uh, environmental science and for geosciences also. Um, there is also a very long history of human influence on the environment in the Mediterranean, deforestation and, and uh, other influences, which means that there is a long timeline that can be studied. Uh, we, we got some, some uh, pictures from, from February last year, February 2020, 2010, when you signed the agreement in Athens. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me and my colleagues from Stockholm University to be here today at the Academy of Athens to, for this official announcement of our cooperation with TMS and the Academy uh, at the Navarina Environmental Observatory. Uh, and this is uh, a collaboration with, with uh, the Academy of Athens. Uh, tell me something about that. Yes, we share with them an interest in uh, atmospheric sciences. Uh, so we are going to conduct joint research on aerosol measurements, climate modeling and so forth. What do you think this collaboration can mean? Uh, for us it means that uh, more of our scientists will be interested in and active in the Mediterranean region, uh, which is a highly populated region, and also the region where uh, there is fairly universal agreement that uh, climate change uh, will be substantial. It, it's uh, actually the one and only region on the planet where everybody agrees on the sign of future uh, climate change that it is likely to become hotter and drier. Apart from that, what would you say make this, this area suitable for, for environmental studies? We got some pictures from, from uh, Messinia. Uh, what would you say make, makes the area uh, suitable? If I start with, with, with the fundamentals or, or the earth science part, it's, it's a highly tectonically active region, meaning that we have both land uplift and subsidence. Uh, we have earthquakes. It's actually in the collision zone between the African plate and Europe. Uh, so, so active processes, um, earthquakes, mountain building, and more surficial processes, slow processes, and so on. So it's, it's an earth science laboratory in a sense. Um, uh, Messinia also has a, has a long historical and archaeological record, so for, for uh, studies um, uh, it's very suitable for studies of, of uh, human impact on vegetation uh, and environmental development on the time scale of a few thousand years. The climate and, and the fact that there uh, is a geological area interesting. Are there more, more uh, things that make this uh, a perfect place, so to speak? Uh, it's a perfect place because it has a good climate. It has a decent uh, road network, which is important so that many sites are accessible. And there is a huge variety within a short distance. You have fairly high mountains. Uh, you have the shoreline processes. Uh, uh, a varied vegetation, uh, different types of soil covers. So there is a lot of variation within a small or fairly small area. Um, one of the more crucial things to, to understand better is how water resources in such an area should be managed. That requires hydrological measurements and also modeling based on available data that has already been collected but not used scientifically, so, so that's also within the plan. Uh, I think also it's important that, that uh, with active research in this region we can uh, conduct field excursions and have teaching various courses in the same area using the same localities as are also used for research, so that helps establish um, the close link between research and teaching that is always desirable for a university. It sounds like a, a perfect place actually to, to 
fairly good, <laughs> I would say. I guess you, you're looking forward to start yeah. start working yeah. down there. And and um, of course we we hope that more researchers will be engaged. But it's a long process to build research. Uh, uh, you have to get more people into the specific area or this or other specific scientific questions, generate funding for the research, and so on. Um, but uh, th that's the overall plan, to increase res research ac activity here also. And uh, of course it will mean closer ties between Swedish and, and Greek scientists. But I also think actually it will generate a greater interest in, in uh, the Mediterranean region. Uh, in the research center in Stockholm that I'm leading, the Bert Bolin Center, we have a strong Arctic focus and this is the other end of the spectrum. So, so I think that is widening our perspectives also. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>